Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about, Saturday Night Live, paid tribute to two deaths that touched the SNL, family. One of the show's original writers, Ann Beats, and rap legend DMX. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Hip-hop icon DMX has died after suffering a heart attack and being put on life support. USA Today, Saturday Night Live, paid tribute to two recent deaths that touched the SNL, family. One of the show's original writers from the 70s, Ann Beats, and rap legend DMX. Cast member Chris Redd held up a sign that read, R.I.P. DMX, during the end credits of Saturday's episode, and at another point, a graphic flashed on screen that read, DMX, next to his photo. The legendary rapper, whose real name was Earl Simmons, died Friday at age 50 after suffering a heart attack a week prior. He appeared as musical guest on SNL in 2000 on an episode hosted by Juliana Margulies. DMX performs at the first Video Game Awards at the MGM Grand Garden Arena on December 2, 2003, in Las Vegas. Photo. Frank Maislata, Getty Images, DMX first made a splash in rap music in 1998 with his first studio album, It's Dark and Hell is Hot, which debuted No. 1 on the Billboard 200 chart. The multi-platinum selling album was anchored by several hits including, Rough Riders Anthem, Get At Me Dog, and, Stop Being Greedy. He earned three Grammy nominations including nods for, Party Up, Up In Here. He also built his career as an actor, appearing in more than a dozen movies and TV shows, including the 1998 film, Belly, and, Romeo Must Die, a few years later with Jet Li and the singer Aaliyah. DMX and Aaliyah teamed up for the film's soundtrack song, Come Back in One Piece. DMX's most iconic lyrics and quotes about hip-hop, family, addiction and faith a post shared by Saturday Night Live at NBCSNL, SNL, also honored Beats, one of its original writing staff members, with a graphic card showing the writer at work, with text that read, Ann Beats, 1947-2021. The groundbreaking comedy writer, who was on the original staff of SNL, and later created the cult sitcom, Square Pegs, died Wednesday at age 74 at her home in West Hollywood, California. Starting in 1975, she was among a team of gifted writers that included Rosie Shuster, Alan Zweibel, Marilyn Suzanne Miller and cast members such as Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase who helped make SNL a phenomenon. Shuster recalled Beats, her former writing partner, as witty and good at editing, in an Associated Press interview published Saturday. She was really something. Sarah Jessica Parker honors original SNL writer Ann Beats, dead at 74. She had a lot of courage, Shuster said. She got out there and fought for what she believed in, and that was great for me. She could really pitch an idea at a meeting. There was a definiteness about her that made you think you needed to make a mark.